in this video we will create a production container for this uh, react app and uh, we will deploy it to google cloud aws and azure so let's start first i'll create a file called docker file and uh, of course make sure you have uh, installed uh, docker in your machine and uh, in the docker file we have to s start from the uh, container itself what type of container will it be and we will start with from this container will be a node container and uh, here i will specify the version of node so i will pick 15.4 and uh, i will name it as build uh, i will explain uh, later why i named it like this so let's start with this uh, container uh, we have to specify the working directory i will call it app so you can put whatever you want here and let's copy the packages the json to that uh, uh, working directory so this means uh, we have to copy this package.json dot means uh, the working directory here so i will add a star here the star means uh, that we can add anything uh, in between package and json uh, this means that we will copy package.json and also package log.json so we copied those files then we have to run npm install so this is self-explanatory so we have npm already installed in the container because we are using a node environment here so that's why this is uh, important after we installed all the packages we have to copy again all the files to the working directory so this means all the other files we have to copy them to the working directory and then we have to build the container so run npm run build so if we go to package.json we have a build uh, script here and uh, what this will do it it will create a, a distribution folder so let's run that command npm run build so we can uh, visualize that folder so we have a build uh, folder here which uh, will have all the necessary files and uh, we uh, completed the first stage so uh, this will be a multi uh, stage uh, docker build uh, which means that uh, we will have another stage so uh, we have all these files inside this docker container but we need only the build folder so uh, there is no need to keep all of them uh, we can uh, have a smaller container and to do to do that we have to uh, add another from here and this col container will have uh, nginx so i'll pick the latest version so if i want the latest version i will just uh, add nginx here or i will add uh, 1.19 and uh, in this nginx uh, uh, container uh, we need to add here i will create another directory nginx and here i'll create a file nginx dot conf and uh, here i'll paste this uh, configuration so th there's a lot of text uh, but uh, you can uh, copy this file uh, on the source code in the video description so uh, this is required to access the file index.html directly here so the build has index.html and all the javascript files that we need so uh, we have to copy this file to this uh, nginx container so copy nginx 
nginx.conf to etc nginx nginx.conf so we added our own nginx configuration then and the second uh, step is to add uh, the build folder to uh, the nginx html so that's why we name this as build here so here i will copy from build so this is a command from this uh, container here which has this build folder we'll copy up build we specified the working directory to be up so it uh, makes sense that uh, the uh, build folder is up slash build and we have to copy this from user uh, user share nginx html and that's it so this is our uh, uh, docker container to build this react app uh, in production so uh, to run this uh, simply run docker build uh, i will specify the name for this container so to specify the name for the container you have to add here minus t and uh, the name of the container i'll specify it to app then we need the context which is uh, this uh, directory so we specify it with dot and that's it so we'll build this docker file and we will assign it a name to app let's build it so it's building now the container has been built now it's ready to be deployed but before we deploy it let's see if uh, this is running uh, fine but uh, by running it on the browser so to do it run docker run our app but uh, we have to specify our port so minus p here and uh, the port of our container will be 80 so this will run on port 80 and uh, uh, this is the port of our browser so i'll put 80 it will work on my machine but if uh, it doesn't work on your machine you can put another port like 888 doesn't matter so i'll put 80 here and uh, this uh, will uh, run our docker container now i'll go to my browser run here localhost just localhost because 80 is the default port and we can see our react app so we uh, created a docker container to be deployed now and now let's deploy it i will close this uh, ide because we don't need it anymore so i'm logged in now to my aws management console and uh, we will push now our docker container to the elastic container registry so i have a shortcut here or we can search it so let's go to the container registry and uh, uh, this is the container registry uh, let's uh, see the repositories so we don't have any repositories or registries uh, we have to create one so uh, we will push our docker container here to have uh, our uh, reg repository first before we do anything make sure to install the aws cli so go to aws.amazon.com cli and uh, on the right side here you can download the windows version the mac os version or the linux version so with this you will have access to your terminal to aws and you have uh, several commands that you can use so now let's first log in to elastic container registry by using this command so uh, aws ecr is elastic container registry uh, this is a command to login this is the region uh, region us uh, is 2 pipe docker login the username will be aws the password uh, we it will be generated by this one so 
uh, that's why is password std in and uh, this uh, other url is like uh, this is our user id so we can find that uh, if we go to our account you, we have the id here so that's it and the uh, docker dot ecr this is also the same region and amazon aws.com let's run this command and uh, we successfully logged in and uh, now what is left is to push our docker container to the elastic container registry so to do that we have to do docker tag uh, the name of our container was app and uh, i will copy again this url so we have to tag it to this url slash in the end app so uh, the name should be the same here and this url will use it a lot so let's tag this and uh, after we tag it we have to push it so uh, remove tag to push and uh, let's wait till it's completed so uh, we get an error that the uh, repository with name app does not exist so let's create it uh, we are here at the repositories and let's create a repository uh, so this is the same url and uh, it will be up so uh, i'm uh, just checking the region if it is the same so uh, this will be a private repository this is the repository name and uh, i will leave the others by default let's create this repository and uh, we created it so let's uh, push our image now not here here docker push and now it's pushing so uh, this uh, will take some time and uh, the image will be pushed to the repository so our image has been pushed so if we go to our repository we have uh, one latest image here the size and everything else so we have our image in our repository i'll copy the uri here for the repository because uh, we will need it and now let's go to amazon container service elastic container service ecs and here go to the clusters and we'll create a cluster so uh, i will select uh, the aws Far fargate uh, cluster because uh, it will uh, take care the managing of the server for us if you want to manage your server uh, select this other one but uh, this is way easier if we select uh, aws fargates so let's go next uh, the cluster name so my app and uh, i will create a default v vpc for this uh, cluster and uh, i won't uh, select anything else let's create it and uh, let's wait till this is completed so the cluster is created click uh, view cluster and now we need uh, a task definition so go to task definitions and let's create a new task definition so i'll select fargate next step the task definition name i'll call it app Uh, the role i'll select none and uh, the network uh, mode i will select the default and uh, for the task memory 0 0.5 gigabytes this cpu so i'll select the minimal versions and uh, the container here we need to add the container that we just copied so this container and the container name it will be also up uh, here we need to set up the port so 80 was the port inside the container so we have to map it here and uh, we can add al also other configurations but i won't add any so let's add this and we added our container there 
and uh, that's it basically let's create this uh, task definition so it was successful and now let's go to our cluster and uh, here now we can create our service so uh, this will be also a fargate uh, we need uh, the task definition uh, that we created so uh, amazon will automatically assign it uh, we need a service name so app so we have a lot of apps with names number of tasks i will select one but you can select two it will create two containers uh, one it will be only one container so i will keep everything minimal but you can select two and uh, everything uh, should be uh, okay now so let's go to the next step subnets i'll select uh, one of these options and uh, i'll assign a public ip yes load balancer i will select none and uh, next step uh, here we can uh, auto scale but uh, since uh, this is uh, an example i will not auto scale so it will be just a simple container review create service so everything is created so let's go to the view service and uh, let's uh, click here and uh, the status is pending let's wait till uh, is uh, uh, running and then after it's running we will have a public ip which uh, we will see it let's wait so our task is running now and we have a public ip for it so i'll copy this ip i'll paste it here and uh, this is our app so this is how we deploy a docker container to aws fargate thank you for watching this video don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you